Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where we'll be talking about the significant Puma 2 project from Clabin. Phase two of the project recently started up in Brazil. We will also be talking about the specific technologies from Andritz at the mill, the sulfo loop sulfuric acid plant, and the gasification of one of the lime kilns. I am Mark Rushton, and I will be your host. Modern pulp and paper mills are now showcases of environmental excellence. As circularity, the replacement of fossil fuels, and the saving of the Earth's vital resources become paramount for the alleviation of climate change, everything must be done differently. Reducing, recycling, and refining is the way forward and the mantra of Andritz's Circle to Zero initiative. Clabine has fully embraced that initiative with the Puma Mill. Today, we are delighted to welcome Percio Pereira, Senior Project Manager of Andritz, João Braga, Director of Project and Engineering from Clabine, and Leonardo Scanavini, Recovery Area Specialist, also from Clabine. Welcome, gentlemen, and thank you for joining us. Percio, to you first. Uh, could you please uh, introduce yourself? Let us know what you've been doing at the Puma 2 project. Okay, I am Percio Pereira. I am Senior Project Manager for Andritz. I work at Andritz since 2006. I worked in Andritz in several product group divisions. And in Puma 2, I am the project, local project manager for the white liquor plant. And in Puma 2, the white liquor plant, gasification, and VSA, wet sulfuric acid, now known as sulfolu. Excellent. Welcome, Persio. Now moving on to Leonardo, could you please also introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Leonardo Scanavini. Uh, I am a chemical engineer, uh, graduated chemical engineer uh, here in Brazil. And I work here as a specialist uh, for the recovery area, working to the project team of Clabin. Uh, so I work uh, in new projects uh, since the, the concept of the projects, uh, not regarding only recovery boiler or evaporation and cost sizing and lime kilns, but also for another, uh, some new technology as the sulfur loop and, and gasification and tall oil plants. So I, I, I kind of I work in balances and, and concepts of, for, of, for this project. Super. And moving on to Zhao Braga, Director of Project and Engineering from Clabine. Can you please talk a bit about your history in Clabine and how it all started with the Puma Mill? My, my history in Clamy is uh, I started here in 1980 uh, as a young engineer and uh, working for maintenance. And after many years working in maintenance activities, I, I started to uh, be involved in projects, doing both maintenance and small projects. And then after other years, the project is becoming more important. It, it is an uh, important change in my professional life in, in, in this time. It was 2005, more or less. Uh, my first big project it was the Monte Alegre Mill, MIA, Mill uh, In uh, 2010, 11, we started to study uh, the Apu uh, plant, this the Puma Puma one, uh, and, and the the project was approved in 2012, and we started the, the construction here in 2013. Uh, here in this project, we 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 made a very strong uh, earth moving. Because uh, this the, this place of, of the Paraná State is hilly surface, then we we have we had to to perform this uh, huge uh, earth moving, looking to a poop mill, and the future. After the poop mill, uh, thinking the future for other expansions, 
Then this Puma one was was performed from 2013 until 2016, when we had the startup of the pulp plant. Uh, after that, we start this Puma two project. The first steps of studying then the project was defined in 2018 and 19 we started the Puma 2 project excellent thank you Zhao. now looking on the Puma 2 project two significant new plants were installed during the project the gasification plant and the wet sulfuric acid plant known as sulfur loop can you please talk a little bit about those two important areas in the Clabine Puma mill it is part of a uh, uh, plan of clubbing, a uh, developing plan of clubbing to to be more environmental uh, responsible. Uh, uh, one of the the pillars of clubbing development is uh, is to be uh, sustainability uh, responsible mm. uh, related to the environmental. Uh, use of, of uh, uh, raw material utilities re in relationship with the communities and every everything related to this and uh, one of the the objective is to reduce the the, the carbon is emissions então for example uh, the biomass gasification is the objective is to to replace a few oil in the lime kiln, in one lime kiln, uh, to, reduce, to reduce the uh, carbon emissions. This plant we have here uh, reduces uh, around 2,000 tons per year of fuel oil consumption. And it was a very big success, the, this installation. The, the installation started the... the, the the production easily uh, with a uh, strong reliability and mm. it's running very well. Uh, another uh, another action was to use residues of the the process. It's one other objective to 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 reduce the amount of the residues. The, for example, the, the sulfur acid plant uh, that in the past we purchased in the market, the, the, the axe. Now we are producing here. And part of the, the raw material of this production is the, the, the sulfur gas that uh, we have in our emissions. Then we are uh, removing this, this uh, particulars this is this this sulfur in the in the in the gas to to use produce uh, sulfur acid. The, it is part of the thinking to reduce emissions, to reuse the residues of the process here and other activities we 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 do in this in this way, other solutions we we have in this way. Uh, this unit that is the most uh, modern uh, meal that Clabin has reduce or re reuse uh, 98 percent of the residues produced in the in the, in the meal. It's a, it's a very high level, very high level. Excellent, Zhao. Thanks very much. And Percio, over to you. Can you comment on uh, this new technology from Andritz? Both projects are very important for Andritz because it opens a market for us in Brazil. The gasification is one plant that burns in the existing lime kiln uh, the syn gas that came for a new renewable uh, fuel because they use chips to become in the gas and burn it this in the kiln number two. And the sulfur loop is important because it converts the, from the sulfur and from gases, the sulfuric acid that is used in the production of the pulp. So both plants are very important in an environmental 
uh, focus that the Andritz is looking very, very close now. Thank you, Persio. Can you talk a little bit about the overall startup at the Puma Mill, um, as well as the startup of those two new significant plants? The startup of gasification was good, taking in consideration that we was using an existing kiln that was the burner was adapted to that. So it was smooth and, and worked. It was very smooth. On the wet sulfuric acid, we have more, we had more, we faced more challenges because um, the technical uh, knowledge people was in a good sense trained during the commission and the startup because it was brand new. But with, with very experienced people giving the support of how it should work. But both of them was very well succeed. Excellent, Persio. Thank you for that. So from Clabine's point of view, Leonardo, can you comment on the startup of those two plants? The startup of gasification was very uh, successful. Uh, when we started the commissioning, we did some uh, some tests, and after after uh, before a uh, uh, shutdown that we did, we make very uh, very good, very successful tests. Uh, already gasifying some biomass, and everything was okay. And it was very uh, prepared for that. And then when we start up after the the the, the general shutdown, we did. On, uh, last, last year, I think, it was 2022. Uh, everything, uh, after doing all those commissionings and, and doing all the, the tests that we need, the startup was very smooth and, and work. So uh, I, I don't know what to say anymore. You know, it just went. Now, the Suf Loop, uh, it was very, uh, a very hard job because the plant is very, uh, is, a little bit more complex that, than gasification plant. The sulfur loop takes um, uh, more detail, more, uh, more care, uh, more, more care with, with some instruments and some equip equipment. Uh, and we did a very good job. Okay, no problem anymore. And we started to produce sulfur gas uh, all the time. Great, thanks a lot. Can you comment uh, a bit on the relationship and cooperation between Andres and Clabine during this project? I can imagine this was very challenging for both parties as these new plants were installed uh, for the first time. Persio, maybe we can start with you. The sofa loop that we built here with Clabin is the first plant in the world for the poop and paper market. And this is very, very good. And Clabin, let's say, accepted the challenge to build with us this very important environmental uh, plant in the, in a very good cooperative way from both sides, and this is this is uh, uh, a very good step that you have with Clabin and Clabin with us. And the relationship with Clabin it was very good in both projects because as developments we need support from them for sure, and from the imported. Uh, companies that work with us as well, mainly in the sulfur loop that the Andrews worked as an integrator of two main products, two main equipment manufacturers. So it was a very, very important experience for everybody that participated of those important projects. Great, thanks for that. And Zhao, any comments from your side? Andrews is one of the most important partners of clubbing in the, the projects, mainly the these big projects, uh, bigger ones and s smaller ones, and uh, we we started working with hundreds. Uh, I don't know how long uh, in Monte Alegre Mill uh, with Lime Kiln, and uh, after that, after that. Uh, and it uh, has been involved in bigger and bigger projects. And uh, as our project team is the basic of this group is the same for a long time, we have a good relationship with Andrit's team. Then the both companies know each other. 
and it's no how clubbing yeah. uh, organizing and, and and manage the project and uh, we know how Andritz proceed with the project uh, the technicians and the specialists and the managers knows each other that it it is uh, it is uh, establish a, a very good uh, relationship uh, environment to to work together and i i can say that there there is a, a very trustable relationship between the, the both companies great thank you so much gentlemen that was an excellent discussion and thank you for being our guests in this episode of our podcast thank you okay thank you for the, the opportunity to speak about that <laughs> On a recent visit to the mill by the Spectrum team, one of the Clabine team enthusiastically described the Puma mill as a Disneyland for papermakers. And that it certainly is when it comes to all the grades of pulp, paper and board emerging from the mill. But it is also exceptional when it comes to the environmental angle and circularity with the pioneering new developments of sulfur loop and gasification. These new developments are surely to continue, making the modern pulp and paper industries a real showcase for other industries around the globe. Should any of our valued listeners wish to find out more about Clubine's Puma projects, please feel free to visit our website. You can find the link in the show notes of this episode. Thank you for listening and goodbye. <laughs>